I was speaking to Pauline Gill, who's a breeder and dog trainer. Now, Pauline, you're at the council-sponsored dog training session uh, over the um, Loosebury area. Now, what's the biggest problem with dogs in town? Probably the biggest problem are people who do not um, contain their dogs safely. So they either get out at night time or, or during the day and they are a nuisance and harassment to people. The other big problem is the dogs are bored. People aren't putting enough energy or time into teaching their dogs how to do things and belong in the community and satisfy their need to be part of the, the human's life. You know? So barking dogs, stray dogs, two big issues for any council. And you were saying around 2,000 kids get bitten each year across Australia, but you also showed how to um, how a child should approach that. Yes. Can you just go through that again? So the New South Wales government actually has a, an app uh, called Pet Town. And if you download that Pet Town app, it will give you all that practice of how to approach a dog safely and also what to do when any good dog approaches you. But for a child, you want that child to say to you, Mum, Dad, I want to pat that dog. So they approach the person with the dog and say, please, may I pat that dog? You slow the child down and get them to hold the hand up, thumb across, fingers across the top so there's nothing showing, and let the child put the hand in front of the dog's nose. That allows the dog to scent, scent the child. You ask them to step to the side and with an open hand, patting from the collar. So if this is the dog's head, and my watch is the collar, step to the side and with an open hand, pat, nice long stroke. That's soothing to the dog, but it also slows the child down, because they're concentrating on doing that. So as a demonstration we showed you with the little two-year-old, it was really very good, because he was so keen to, to pat the dog. He did it really well. The way to go. And of course you're saying it's important to uh, recognise your dog when they do the right thing. Yes. But to possibly ignore when they do the wrong thing? Up to a point. I mean obviously there's behaviour that's really unsafe and inappropriate and you need to say no, you need to correct. But we tend to only focus on the bad behaviour because that draws our attention. Dogs actually watch us more than we watch them. They are very conditioned to, you know, where they like the domestic dogs. We've created domestic dogs. And one of the biggest myths is they evolved from the wolf. No, they're not. We created them. There might have been a very classic wolf somewhere and came from that. Yep, genetically related, but behaviorally, nowhere near the same. So the domestic. So the domestic dog is a human creation. Therefore, they actually are conditioned to need us. They miss us. They want to be around us, but they want us to be their leader. So they want you to call, the, call them to them, pat them, be with them, be close to them. They want you to take them for a walk. They want to go for that drive. They want to play with that stick and when you throw it in the park. And when we miss those opportunities, we miss that opportunity to build that bond with the dog and also create a really predictable relationship that's safe and positive. And this is really what I'm trying to in, in, encourage people to do. Council, of course, have the rules and regulations that when people forget to do that and they breach that, so they get out of the fence or they run around town without a lead on, there's consequences for you for that action. But unfortunately, the stick doesn't always work with people. What does work with people is understanding that you've got this magic little animal that you can have a relationship with, and if you give that chance to develop, you've got the best companion out. Plus, you feed it, you house it, you microchip it, you vaccinate it, you do all the right things, you've got the best mate for the rest of your life. Much like a child. Much like a child, exactly. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. Pleasure.